July 2020 monthly reading. Just a reminder that you can check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, um, Stellium signs for a build your own experience. Experience. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling for your reading. I think that Gemini had this. That's your Mercury, um, you know, brethren. So I really feel like this Mercury retrograde has led up to you guys having a lot of ideas. You guys, I definitely think that you're in your heads a lot about being more independent here. Um, maybe some of you guys do feel like people who should have supported you or something did not. Um, you feel tricked by someone's speech in some way, a leader of some kind of a group. And there's, I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling abandoned in some way by a group and particularly a certain kind of person that um, possibly is a leader of this group and you left, I feel like you, you're you leaving. So this could be a workplace, this could be like, um, I wanted to say extracurricular activity, um, but it could, it could be something that you do in your free time. Virgos a lot of times have a lot of skills, they help out in a lot of places. For some of you guys, this is something, is a place where you would volunteer. Some of you guys are helping children, but you are, you're really going within this month. Um, I do feel like you are embodying certain aspects of the, the hermit card, which is your totem, right? This meditative um, space with the nine of cups. You have achieved some kind of wish fulfillment and some kind of internal peace from this situation, or at least that's something that you are thinking about and definitely manifesting. You, um, you've been putting a lot of work into something here and possibly a lot of you guys have been keeping that a secret. Some of you guys are heavy volunteers and you're just kind of, you're needing to pull away and take some time for yourself and just kind of, I feel like some of you guys have achieved something as of, as of late and you don't really know how you're going to move forward from something. Um, because you have a lot of options and I feel like it's in a good way for a lot of you guys, but there is some type of a bittersweet feel to this. You know, and because I feel like the, the world is your oyster. You could go in really any direction and you're really trying to narrow that down here for some of you guys. Um, I'm getting that a lot of you guys had a boss or a leader or somebody that was just um, maybe not who they they portrayed. Maybe they made a lot of promises or something that they didn't keep. And so this is something that you've really recently become aware of. And I feel like you're stepping away from some kind of situation and it's bringing you a lot of internal peace. Because you really tried to make this work in the past with the temperance. And I feel like you were always yourself, you know, but you, like like Virgos are, you were very observant, you know, and you were still trying to help in whatever situation this was in. But um, it's like it never, there's something about the situation that just never quite fit together, you know, it just never quite jived. And you felt, and I feel like you feel that a lot of people have been talking about you, but you're walking away. You're taking the high road. You're taking the high ground. Um, and you're walking away. This person that you, that was in charge of this group for some, in some way, I feel like could have been starting some kind of rumors about you or like they weren't very nice in their speech and maybe they've poisoned people against you in some way. Um, and you didn't even like, I, I really do feel that you were trying to help out and you felt like an outcast or something within this group. And you didn't really know. You didn't really know about this. But it's like it kind of doesn't matter to you because you are strong within yourself. And I feel like you're just choosing to walk away, like turn the other cheek and you're moving on to bigger and better things for yourself. But in the future, it's like, you know, these choices are starting to narrow down for you. And it's like, well, what direction actually am I going to go in? And for some of you guys, you're considering a big move here. But you want to consider your own growth and expansion because I do feel like in what some way or another, you've had a win here. Um, you've, you've had some kind of money. Like if this was a separation from a job or something, you've had like a severance or some kind of money that came through here. And maybe you guys have some kind of money and you don't know how to invest it, you know? Um, and some of you guys are looking to, uh, what's, it's not donate, but you know, um, like where you, wow, Mercury's in retrograde. You guys feel me though, because I'm a Gemini. And so I have a lot of Mercury in my chart, Gemini sun and Gemini Mercury. Um, and I've, 
just forgotten words. There's whole words that just fell right out of my brain. You're looking to give to charity of some kind. Um, and I wanted to, some of you are looking to invest in something as well, or you're, you're planning out some kind of project because I do feel that you have some kind of success here, but there's someone, I don't like the way they're talking to you. Um, cause I feel like this person can be very charismatic and they can be a little slick and there's just the way that they're using their words. And because we're in mercury retrograde and everything's hazy anyways, I just feel like there's certain things that are getting lost in translation. And this person is like duplicit in some way. I just feel like they're duplicit in some way and they might be trying to get your money, but you are aware of this. It's like this person's trying to get your money, your attention, but you're chilling. You're chilling here. Hmm. Yeah. Um, for some, um, for, for just a few of you, I feel like this might be a sexual connection where this, this person has some kind of sexual interest in you, but you are, you're taking a step back. You are really thinking about this. You're doing that Virgo thing where you're considering your options here. There's, I feel like there's a lot of money involved and you just want to make sure that you're making the right decision with it. So yeah, in the future, it's like you're thinking about making a big move. You're thinking about expanding in some way. Some of you guys might be thinking about buying a house or um, moving somewhere. I feel like it might be a big move, but maybe expanding, upgrading your house, something like that. Some of you guys, I feel like your child left the nest recently. Maybe they, they're moving to college or something. And so... And that could be it. Like, I'm just kind of getting like a job well done, you know, with the Nine of Cups. It's not quite over, you know, but but you've had some kind of success. It's kind of like that where it's like, I raised this little baby, you know, and I'm never going to stop being their mom and I'm always going to have parental duties, but like kind of kind of a nice warm glow that like accompanies that of like, look at you and you're not even a jerk going out there in the world, like that kind of energy. So, yeah, I do feel that there's a little bit of heartbreak here and that you're trying to, something didn't pan out, you know? Somebody's not giving you the answers that you want around some kind of a situation and you're, it's like what, something that you want, like a passion project or something. You might, have, you're, it's like your head and your heart might be telling you two different things. So you're not, I feel like at the heart of the month, you're not really making any decisions. You're not really making any moves. And there might be something about the situation that you're refusing to see. Like that this person you're dealing with is a con person. Con man, con woman. Maybe they have their own project or idea that they're trying to kind of get funded. But So maybe some of you guys are deciding to go it alone. Maybe you were trying to fund this through some kind of group or through some, you know, something like that. But um, there, there is a strong feeling of independence here and trusting yourself. You're really going within, you're trying to be your own advocate because you feel like you're dealing with a swindler that's like overwhelming you with information and they're overwhelming you with opportuni or opportunities, okay? Um, options, they're overwhelming you with options. And they're um, also, it's like this person, when they communicate, they're communicating emotionally. Like they're, they're trying to attach your emotions to something here. Seeking inappropriate surrogate families is the shadow attribute. So maybe it's like you tried to fit in with some kind of group, but oh yeah, because they're showing up as fire and you're showing up as water. So it's like these people are very cliquish and they, they could be very, um, for some of you guys, they have like idiosyncrasies or something. They, they all do the same kind of thing, but you're a little bit more independent and um, I don't know, like they're, this this group might like have a lot of really intense conversation or something. Maybe they like to throw, and um, I have an Aries moon, but like, um, you know, like they throw little jabs at each other um, to show their love and affection and things like that. And you're just not really like that. So some of you guys are thinking about taking a little trip, a little vacation just to get, just to get, you know, or you, you took a vacation in the past possibly. And now you're thinking about, maybe you took a vacation to a place where you're considering moving for some of you guys. But you have a lot of options this month, Virgo. Like, I feel like, like I said, there's this bittersweet nature to this reading where you're realizing that something wasn't all it was cracked up to be. And I think that you had some kind of emotional attachment to this, this idea, um, group, person, place, all of the above for a lot of you. So 
like I said, it almost feels like the world is your oyster. You're looking to expand. You're looking for a change. You're looking for some friends that you vibe with. Like a group that you vibe with. Some of you guys are really looking for some kind of partnership in order to make, bring something to life here. And you want someone who's going to get your vision. Somebody, somebody that like can maybe even share the load financially. Somebody who wants to work together. And you're going to have to grieve. I feel like you're, you understand that. You're going to have to grieve because someone got you really attached with emotion here. So you're like go, almost going through withdrawal, but you're handling it really, really well. You know, you're just, you're, you're pulling your energy back and you're reflecting. You're tired. You feel like you are in a defensive posture with this person and you have a lot of feelings. And I feel like you might even have some money that you're keeping to yourself here. I feel like you guys are being very smart about this. So, you know, Yeah, and there's something about, like, just solitude and retreating from a group, you know? Just retreating from a group. You're going to start doing your own information here because you're uh, you're going to start gathering your own information, looking into something on your own because something doesn't feel quite right here, and that's how you're going to get your success. Yeah, you're going to be really pretty ruthless about, like, if you guys are signing any contracts or whatever, you're just, you're not here for the nonsense. You're probably going to have some kind of help in this, um, like a business partner or a life partner. Both of you guys aren't seem to be on the same page about this. Um, and you're just, you're not tolerating this charisma, emotional nonsense that's being thrown at you. Not at all. And you're not afraid to like let things fall. Cause I feel like you guys are in some kind of a transition moment here. And actually you're in a pretty good place is what I'm kind of getting here. And you're being really reflective about this. You've grown something here, Virgo. Something's coming to an end. And a lot of you guys are thinking about moving on and it has to do with children. And, but you need to be protective, you know, in order for this next chapter of your life to really grow. Because there, people have hidden motives here and you need a plan and you know that, you know that there's dangers. And so I feel like maybe you guys are spending a lot of time. I literally just bubble bath came to mind. Like you guys are taking a lot of, now might be a time to like, think about what it is that you want. Have a vision board, dream about things, take baths. Don't, don't engage with these people if they feel gross and slimy. Also like, you know, get, trust your hidden information, trust your, your intuition. You've been given, if this is resonating with you, you've been given like the back end of that information so that you can just be really clear about whatever it is that's happening here. Um, so you can kind of go back to the drawing board, see this from a different angle, turn this into wisdom for your future dealings, right? So yeah, that is, um, and then, you know, this is culminating into a choice at the end of the month where you are um, towards the end of the month. It's like kind of make it or break it moment where you have to Put whatever it is that you want, that you've been thinking about, dreaming about, working about, working on. You're going to have to pull it out into the world somehow. And I really do think that there's some kind of balance that needs to be struck here. Like your head and your heart might be this balance. Um, and like I said, for some of you guys, it's like, am I going to move away somewhere? You're going to buy a second house? Are you going to upgrade your house? Something like that. Um, I'm really getting the energy of travel. Some of you guys, maybe it's like, am I going to stay here or am I going to just travel around for a little bit? But there is a decision coming for you. And I honestly think that, um, it's going to feel rocky, but you are going to prepare for it. And you're, you are, you're, I honestly, I think you're going to be okay either way. I think there's one that you're going to maybe prefer over another, but I think both there's, there's a lot of good in both. So, um, just, and you know that I feel like maybe you have a lot of good options and you're just kind of trying to pare it down to something, but that's what I have for you guys, Virgo. I hope that resonated because that was kind of awesome and you guys seem awesome and you seem very astute. Um, don't forget that Mercury's in retrograde, I think till the 15th, the 12th, the 15th, something like that. So, um, being a Mercury world sign is something to keep in mind, but, um, I can't wait to check in with you next month. Bye guys.